All right, um, so I wanted to go ahead and got a new project starting up here, and I wanted to do a video log of uh, the project. So today I am unboxing it. Um, have a several have built a few quads, uh, mostly 250s. Um, and this time I wanted to try a hexacopter, which is uh, it's still kind of a similar class, the racing class of quads, but. Um, you know, it's got a, a little bit more room in there, and it also has, you know, it's a hexacopter, so, you know, a few more motors. But there's something called a, this one's an RD290, and uh, this particular frame looks like it's from FC Model. Um, actually, I didn't even, wasn't aware of that. I bought it from my uh, favorite Hong Kong seller on eBay. Uh, he actually recommended that, you know, I, I take a look at this one um, when I kind of emailed him about some different quads that I was thinking about doing. So here it is. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. Um, <coughs> so I ordered these. These are Simon t Simon 12A uh, ESCs, or Simon K 12A ESCs. And, uh, you know, they're, they're supposed to be pretty high quality. Um, I've never had any issues with uh, these particular, well, actually these are the first time I've had these particular ESCs, but I've ordered some other ones from the same seller and they've been fine to do. And I um, I always order a couple extras, uh, so I had the seller include two extras, because ESCs, at least so far in my experience, have been the components that have gone out, um, you know, it's been faulty. So, you can see there's, uh, looks like there should be eight of them, if I did the math right. Yep. So, uh, these look pretty good. Um, one thing that I don't like is they have bullet connectors. Um, those just probably will get cut off. And then I'll either solder directly to the board here, or most likely I'll just cut them maybe halfway and then solder the motors on. So, yeah. And one thing you'll notice, it doesn't look like things were packed real, uh, real tight in here, but I'm sure it's fine. These things were made to take a beating. Um, here are the motors. I actually have these a few of these extra from the other build, so I went with the just the normal six. But these are the Emacs um, 1806 2280 kV motors. So um, pretty decent motors. I've had good experience. You'll notice that there's black. Uh, these are the I think the black ones are the clockwise, and then the silver ones are the counterclockwise. So. And these, unfortunately, these little propeller nuts here tend to fly off, so I'll probably end up putting some nylocks on those at some point, but for now it's fine. But I think they're supposed to be self-tightening prop nuts. And then we've got um, nylon propellers. They're actually not bad, though. They're kind of a no-name, you know, no-brand, but um, they are surprisingly durable. I had these on a few builds ago, and, um, you know, it took a little bit to break them, but they're... They're probably not even going to go. I'm going to use the, the Dow Unbreakables. I just ordered um, probably eight packs of those from Mini Quad Bros. So I'm hoping to put those on. Although I may do a maiden with those, who knows. Next up, you've got the uh, CC3D board. So this is uh, the flight controller. And, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward, but it's got all the, looks like it's got all the wire harnesses in there um, that I need. Uh, but that's, you know, that's going to connect directly to uh, my ESCs are going to connect into that and it's also going to connect to my um, Turnigy uh, I've got it around here somewhere but my Turnigy 9X uh, receiver radio so you know, that'll, that should go pretty well. I've already got a Turnigy radio Turnigy 9X from uh, another build and I plan on using that same one and then it uh, looks like he's got the, yep, all the parts for the frame so that's pretty straightforward, although this is interesting. They look like they're they're not rounded like maybe on the ZMR builds. It uh, looks like there's more of an angle to them. And then the PDB, looks like it came with the Deans. I actually use XT60, so I do have an ex extra XT60 connector somewhere. Um, there's some heat shrink in here, a couple power leads, and then you know just kind of your standard PDB. I actually have another PDB um, that I'll probably end up using because I like the smaller size. Um, but I may keep this one around just to run like 5 volt to it because 
I do have a few accessories that I plan on using that use 5 volt. So that may, might be one way. And the nice thing is I can actually mount this. There's holes that'll line up. Well, actually, I'm not sure that there are. But I should be able to figure out a way to mount it. Might have to print out a 3D part to do that. And then um, there's all the screws for the motors. That's pretty straightforward. Just go into the underneath the motor and into the frame. And then here's the frame itself. So looks like um, I know that uh, at least in the past, um, it's been a good solid carbon fiber frame. So I am going to check that for continuity. But just doing a quick look at it, um, it looks like it's good. I can tell that you know there's no there's really uh, the layers look pretty good. It doesn't look like it's the the GF stuff, so um, looks like it's pretty good. But the only way to really tell is with the multimeter test. And then lastly, it looks like we've got some got some instructions. Uh, okay, so it's all in Chinese apparently, which I you know probably don't really need these anyway. Pretty straightforward. One of the things that I liked about this is that it comes with a a little GoPro mount, but uh, it's kind of nice having that, and it's got your FPV mount as well, although I, I usually print those parts. So overall, it uh, looks like everything showed up, um, and you know, I've, I've got a lot of extra supplies, like I kind of mentioned earlier. I've got the Turnigy, I've got some, uh, yeah, here's, here's like an example of a FPV camera mount, although this is probably not the one I'll use because I like to have it a little more angled. I think this is only maybe 10 degrees of that. Um, here's a transmitter. This is one that uh, that I have from, I think it was an extra, but I'll, I'll end up using this. This is one of the SkyZone TS5823s. And then I've got this camera here um, from another build as well. This is a 700 TVL camera, um, 12 volt. So this has been a pretty sturdy camera and I. I'm pretty sure it still works, but I'm going to be testing that to make sure. If not, I actually picked up this other camera um, in the spare, but it's, you know, I'll, I'll use one or the other. And then I've also got, I'm going to put these LEDs on here. These are kind of cool. Um, you can run them from 3.5 to 12 volts, I guess. Uh, so this, it's already got a, you know, maybe a JST connector in there, but they're basically kind of hard to see, but they're little round, really bright LED lights, and i got to figure out how I'm going to mount those. I haven't figured that out yet. And then last but not least, I've got, I'm pretty excited about this. I got this, uh, picked this up. Um, it's a GPS module. It's an OSD module that also has GPS. It was only like 30 bucks on Hobby King, so it's probably not the most accurate, but, um, you know, I haven't really done much OSD before and I thought it'd be nice you know with having a little extra room I'll, I should be able to fit this in on the build so alright I think that about covers it um, looking forward to putting this together thanks for watching